Hey everybody, Scott, Rattlesnake Preparedness Group. Uh, we, of course y'all know we've been using this little giant uh, stellar incubator for incubating eggs and stuff, and this thing's done really good for us. For baby chickies. Yes, for baby chickies. Um, we decided to kind of give ourselves a little upgrade on that, so we went on Amazon and we ordered the forced air fan kit for this incubator. So I'm going to install this, we're going to hook it up, see how it works. Uh, we just actually got done incubating, what was it, 10 I think, 8 made it? Well we incubated a dozen, 2 did not make it to day 14, so we had 10 left and then 2 of them died in the show, I threw those and I got to dispose of that today which was day 20, crap. 24 yeah. I think or whatever but we had eight out of ten survive so yeah. I'm looking at an 80% survival rate yeah not bad so that's freaking awesome so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and we're gonna change this I guess okay guys so before he does that I just want to let you guys know I'm the fucking crazy chicken lady I incubated six still went to the feed store and bought ten more Yes, I have did. a fucking problem. <laughs> I have an addiction. And I don't think there's any like AA type, you know, chicken anonymous classes or something. Praying for me is not going to help, I promise. Praying is not going to help. Yes, I did buy a ton more. But they're cute. We didn't have any Easter eggers, guys. I had to get Easter eggers. Come on. He's talking about Australorps. <laughs> well, the great, the great no purpose bird, so. And we have our tiny humans helping us. Say a prayer. I got, I got my helpers. Say a prayer because I don't I think it's going to work. And the third one's and right there, so. our son is just. Why what's up? Take this off so. It's going to replace this. It's so, no, it's not broken. It works just fine. But this one has a little fan right in here. So it'll actually turn and move the air. So the chickies, after they hatch, they'll dry faster instead of looking like sopping, <laughs> sopping wet. I don't even know what. Okay, I'm going to come closer so then they can see what the heck you're doing. Because, okay. oh crap, chair. Well, I'm Mommy, just I want to see the man. I'm pulling this. Yeah. Right. And that's where we plugged it into the new controller under there. So the controller, we're keeping on board. What did you need to I'm do? Take these screws out. Eh. The incubator's getting screwed. Yeah, it is. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. Oh. Yes, Daddy. Whoa, hey. I okay. got a turning heater. <laughs> right, no. Hold on, hold on. We're going to put that there. I will hold this. Oh, I got this. Okay. Uh, I just had to get under here. I thought I'd add a little, I comic, add a little comic relief to your day Daddy, there. I can't see. You can't see. But all Daddy's doing is unscrewing it. Gotta hate a bobo Mommy, thumb. Mom, excuse me. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm in a four year old's way, so I have to move now because she's a nosy bird. The mirror? What mirror? That's not a mirror, goofball. That's camera. Say, say hi that. to the YouTubers. <laughs> hi. Say hi to the YouTubers. All right. No, that That's our easy. oldest. Yeah. Our oldest. You guys never really see, but Daddy. she's here. Yep. That was pretty easy. Two screws pops right out. There's where it holds on. It's Daddy, it popped right out. There. And it's kind of idiot proof, so it's got these... Oh my goodness, so and it awesome. does, I don't know if that's melted or what, but that kind of looks weird. Yeah, it does. And it probably, and very well could be because these are your heating coils. Right, too, so. that's what I'm uh, saying. No ma'am, please get down. If I move just right, I don't want to knock you over. Okay, thank you. When he thinks he's Billy Badass, he gets to change us out now. Boy, <laughs> much. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take this joker here. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yep. Are you sure it's gonna work? I'm pretty sure it's gonna work, but you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna plug this thing in, turn the power on, and try it. And make sure it's gonna work. You think that's okay yeah. for our baby chickies? Maybe. Yes. I got oh. it. I got it. You got it. Yeah. What? Okay, so 
We're just gonna screw uh, it. No, some no, more. no, 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 no! Don't do that. Please. We're just, he's just gonna screw it some more. Whatever. Yeah, buddy. What can I say? I'm a dude. Guys, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're lying to yourself. Alrighty. Or self-identify. No comment. <laughs> right, we're not even gonna go there. Okay, well then you gotta come back here if you wanna see. You have to come over, like up here. Buddy, what are you doing? I'll stand up. You have to stand up. Don't you dare. Adeline, <laughs> four-year-old, wants to Block my camera. Hey. cut off the camera. Uh, I can't see. You can't see what? It sees you. Yep. I love hey. <laughs> She's over here striking poses for the YouTubers. That's why they oh, really, yeah. if hey, they're yeah. watching this, that's why. They're, they're watching like it for this child. see her and her. And wifey and him, not me. So, and I, I can't honestly, I can't say that I'm on you. And or, the him is, hey, buddy, where are you going? Can you say hi? Hi, hi as he runs. Now, come on around here. Okay, hold on. Gather around, gather hi. around. All right, educational lesson, me too. Anywho, this is the main plug here. Or it plugs into your controller. Well, if you notice, it has the same thing, but it also has an extra set of wires. Well, hey, because Dad. this is an extra, this has the fan motor with it. It actually plugs in there. So we're, first, we're going to plug in over here. Stop it! The four-year-old is trying to cut me off. And again, listen for that click. And then this one here, if you look. There's that little line on it right there. Oh, hold on. This ain't, this ain't focusing. Oh, my bad. Or at least it's not focusing when we upload it. Off. Oh, there we go. There we go. And it has the notch in the top here. Oh, crap. Sorry, y'all. Right and the notch is actually facing you. So, again, it's idiot proof. I like it. At least that's what we called it in the military. We're not even going to discuss that. Hey. Just because I've been fighting with a VA for 27 years don't mean nothing. Mommy, I want to see the camera. Ah, clicked it in. All right. So that is all ready to go. Seriously, dude. Yes, seriously. Oh, my goodness. So now we're going to go make sure he didn't screw this up. All right, but I can't go anywhere because I have tiny humans, so I'm going to go this way. Oh, crap. I'm kicking shit. My bad. But we're not going to put eggs in there, weirdo. Oh, I got to turn this fan off because I don't okay. think the YouTubers want to... Oh, crap. That was a light. <laughs> what are these days? Smooth one. What are these days? Can you please move your fat head? Children have fat heads. We gave birth to them. We're allowed to say that they have fat heads. I told you it wasn't plugged in earlier when he came home. No. Men, just just do your job and listen. Shh. Everyone quiet. Pop it open. It's moving. It's moving. And the heating elements are getting warm. Yep. Because I'm the idiot that has to touch it. Every video we do. And apparently, we do dance parties in our house. Yeah, this ignore is my, Ignore my stupid white boy dance. It's all good. <laughs> our children get mad. And so. it is working. So, awesome. So, I'm just going to let this hang out for probably about an hour. Yep. Kind of test it out. But in the meantime, in the meantime, Thank you. in the meantime, guys. Thank you. So, these guys, we hatched out. Evil little bastards. 
we hatched these guys out about three, four weeks, three and a half, four weeks ago. There's four in there. We did have six, but I gave two away. Then I go ahead and, whoa, having slight issues. Black chicken lives matter. I hatched out. These are from our last batch. Ew, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I got it. Okay. These guys hatched out. Uh, I want to say, what was it? Saturday? Sunday? Yes. Something like that? Saturday, so then I go Saturday. to the feed store to go get my chickens outside. Some feed. And they had 20 chickies. chickies. And what do I have to do? Crazy chicken lady. I bought 10 of them. But they're Easter eggers. We don't have Easter eggers. They're cute, cuddly. Say hi to the YouTubers. God, that looks so evil. Anyway. What's up? Kung Pao chicken. Um, apparently that's what that was. Hell if I freaking know. But, so I ended up bringing them home too. Oops. Oh well. I was going to get five. But anybody who's watching this who has chickens, I need y'all to comment below. Chicken math is real. Mm -hmm. Five equals ten. Yeah. Ten equals twenty. It's a real thing. Actually, I think I have finally figured out chicken math. Chicken math <laughs> is whatever number you decide you're going to get times infinity. That's how it works. Whoa! I got a munchkin. Oh, I got I got pine shavings on my shirt. <laughs> but anyway. Really? Anyway, so we ended up with Easter eggers. They're all pullets. They're all going to lay. It's all protein. It's all good. They lay protein. You harvest protein. Mm -hmm. We're not going to die. And or at least, I don't plan on dying anytime soon. No. Um, That's not scheduled until next week. Ugh. Just that. Just, you know. That's Russia. They know. We We're not getting into that. We are not getting into that. We are not getting into that. Just not doing it. But, so, we now have the fans, so the next time we go ahead and incubate chicks, which is probably going to be what? Well, probably midsummer sure. yeah. at the earliest. Because yeah. at this point, right now this got... point I will have 26 because the guys I hatched out this past weekend are not for us. I'm giving them away. But we'll have 26, which means, if I did my math correctly, we'll have 22 eggs a day. And oh my Jesus, primity. I don't know what I'm going to do with 22 eggs a day. No clue. Yeah. But... Um, I'm coming this way. Oh, I'm coming this way. So, watch out, guys. I'm the crazy chicken lady raising crazy chicken children. And um, crazy chickens. And crazy chickens. And crazy chickens. So, this thing is running. I know I said I was going to leave it off for an hour. I don't know. It's very quiet. Yeah, it is. I, like I don't know if y'all can hear that or not, but it's very quiet. But the nice thing is about the... Uh, Oops, sorry. The oh, you're good. No, I'm just saying it's already uh, done. A little light. <laughs> nice thing is about the fan that will actually circulate the air and regulate the temperature and the humidity equally throughout the entire incubator a whole lot better than the still air. So hopefully we'll have... Take a what's been so far a good success rate and make it better. That's the hope. That's the prayer. So, so um, oh, I just want to give you guys a quick update on um, Remix. That was the first batch of chickens we hatched out with you guys. You guys went with us the entire process. And we had the one that We only survived. had that one that survived. Well, we named her Remix. Anyway, I probably shouldn't have done that, but I did it anyway because, again, crazy chicken lady syndrome. Off that, off that soapbox for a second. We put her and two others from that batch right after her outside. They went outside. They were great. She mother henned them and everything else. And all I'm going to say is fucking possums. That's all I'm going to say. Fucking possums. That little bastard got a 22. Yep. Fucking possums. Mommy. And, but. Let's see here. Cool thing is, too, we've been kind of busy around here since the last time we spoke with you guys. Boy, what are you doing under there? What are you doing? Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> I love it. I know, right? Hey, I'm gonna burn one while I'm out of here. You want one? Okay. All right. so, really? No, no. Yeah, you, go watch TV. You, hey. Bye, bye.
Bye bye. Okay, he's just holding y'all, not even talking y'all, doing nothing. Okay. Oh, hugs. I'm getting hugs. Okay, go on, go, go play. Go watch TV real quick, buddy. I'll turn on the lights so it doesn't look so. What the hell? But yeah, so. And we, we got busy and we started. Okay, that sounds wrong. All y'all, man, get your fucking heads out of the gutter. That is not what he was talking about. No, no, not at all. We actually got busy with the garden. Look at that. Got the uh, weeds and stuff cut down. Got it mulched in all into the, uh, around the edges. And I'm fixing to get me a rear tine tiller. Thank you, love. And we're going to get to work on getting this ready for plant come Good Friday. So uh we're getting with it and i highly suggest you guys too with the uh the state of the world today with everything going on it would behoove each and every one of us to do everything we can to prepare as much as possible whatever you can financially afford to do i would highly suggest do it to the absolute max don't go in debt don't break yourselves but do what you can now five dollars a week at the dollar tree goes a long way mm -hmm. literally five dollars a week we started out doing five ten dollars a week this that and then all of a sudden bam it you know it exploded but um five dollars a week and just get your basic needs mm -hmm. water box can stuff we're not pro we're not professionals no and for the record we are wearing the same shirt so y'all y'all and are this like, wasn't what even planned <laughs> i got it this morning didn't even look and i just grabbed it in my car but anyway getting back to what we were talking about five dollars a day go get you a case of water a week yeah, definitely. i mean i don't know where all everybody lives we live in hurricane alley we live so, in the panhandle of florida so as, as her shirt says on the back prepare every day oh gotta pull it down prepare every day like it's hurricane season exactly if everybody can do that, we'll all be one step ahead. You know, if you need to, um, I know City Pre Chris over at City Prepping has a guide that he puts out that's a downloadable. Gives you some processes and steps to go through. By God, go download that thing. You know, I mean, shoot. I mean, you know, start out with three days. Then we're kept to three weeks. Then to three months. Before you know it, you'll have a year's supply and you won't even realize it. You know, and you'll be buying shelving like we did to be able to put what you need where, you know. So, I mean, do what you physically, financially can as much as you can. Now, this inflation thing is not going to get any better. Fuel prices are through the roof. Inflation is through the roof. And there's also some Facebook pages for the ladies out there. It's um, SHTF Survival Ladies Only. Mm -hmm. um, it goes into food prep freeze drying i mean you name it mm -hmm. they talk about it um if you're a pinterest person you could just pinterest mm -hmm. it i yep. i've done that i i swear to god i've done that which, and i'm like which we do have a pinterest account too for rpg so we're pinterest. on we're well let's see we're on here we're on instagram and facebook. we're on facebook and we're on pinterest so look for us but anything you could do, if you know you're only going to use so many jars of, or so many cans of whatever, start that stockpile. Yeah. Just start it. Just, just, and if you need help getting through with it, mm -hmm. you know, you can probably, you know, leave a comment below. We can give you suggestions or you can go to different YouTube pages, like Scott was saying, mm -hmm. and they have good ideas. Pinterest is another good one. Yeah. YouTube. I mean, just not just us, but mm -hmm. other people who have done this for years and years yeah. and years I mean, have really good ideas too. Yeah. I mean, we're not the end all be all by no means. I mean, there's plenty of other good channels out there that even I subscribe to for RPG. I mean, uh, city prepping, Canadian prepper, um, bear independent bear independent shout out uh, to bear independent right <laughs> tj's yeah never met the guy never talked to the guy but he seems like he's cool as hell um and from what i've seen he's got some really good uh uh med equipment too so check out refugemedical.com for him uh he's a small business they've been doing it for two years and what is it now they're up to? 35 lives saved, I think. Something like that. Okay, this is the page. I'm oh. going to see if I can link it below. But if I can't link it below, mm -hmm. here comes the rain. Look mm -hmm. what's sunshine here in Florida. But this is SH. Oh, crap. Shit. Oh. Sorry, y'all. 
SHTF, prepping and survival ladies only. If you do not have boobs and a vagina, don't even bother getting in. I I'm serious. Yeah, they're I mean, not gonna I, let you I'm in. not built right for it, so, you know, um, it's all good. I, that, that's her thing, so I'll let her manage that, you know. Um, it is not my page. I did not create the page. I'm just a member of the page. I am not the genius behind the page. Mm -hmm. Swear to God. If you guys have chickens, there's also, you know, and if Miss Ginger is watching, she's going to be like, that's my girl. But, um, <laughs> um, chicken butts and crazy clucks. I know you guys can't see. There we go. And a lot of these, you have to be approved for both of these pages. You have to be approved for, um, funny jokes legit help yeah i will say with the chicken butts and crazy clucks she's showed me some stuff on there if you don't have a sense of humor and i mean a good full rounded sense of humor don't bother yeah we're sick and twisted <laughs> but i mean you gotta do what you gotta do mm -hmm. the world is not getting any better unfortunately and our children are gonna have to deal with the aftermath of all this crap mm -hmm. and that's what it is it's crap yeah. So, so get your get your food in order, get your water in order, get your security and your freedom seeds in order, because you know you're you're watching right now a basically a slow motion train wreck for an SHTF situation. It's going to get a lot worse before it gets better. So Ex I mean, exactly. I, I I pray for peace, but prepare for the alternative because. Right. And if half the people would put some, like, half the effort they put into the blame game, I'm blaming, oh, it's whoever's fault. It, it's, it's irregardless. Just, let's just get our shit together and, mm -hmm. and survive. Like, that's the, that's the reason why we're here. Yeah. Let's, uh, you know, children go play, you know, let the adults take over and we got it from here kind of situation. Yeah. So let's, instead of everybody pointing fingers, it doesn't matter. Let's no. just go ahead, buckle down, and get your shit in gear because at the end of the day you're you are your first line of defense you're your mm -hmm. first line for food you're your first line for everything i'm sorry but yeah you are i mean you can't even... carry you can't carry a grocery store in your pocket you can't no. carry a cop in your pocket can't carry any anything like that in your pocket so and, you gotta be your first line and the nice thing where we live even the sheriff says you know in the event of a hurricane here mm -hmm. First 72 is on you. That's a billboard we have around here constantly. First 72 is on you, meaning the first 72 hours or first three days, you're responsible for your own security. You're responsible for your own medical. You're responsible for your own survival at that point. And believe me, after living through Hurricane mm -hmm. Ivan in 04, I won't never be that unprepared ever again. I promise you that. I wasn't here for that. Anybody around here that was, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, we I was around for Hurricane Sally, which wasn't, it hit us, but it didn't hit us nearly as bad as I've been from what I've been hearing and the stories I wrote, or I didn't write, I read, sorry. And we were without power here at our house for like a week, okay, with three kids and our son was what? Speaking of kids. A few <laughs> months old. I yeah. mean, that was freaking brutal. Yeah, it was. But we made it. And we survived it with no problem. At least, you know, she didn't have to deal with, or none of us had to deal with the month of no power like we did after yeah. Ivan. I've told her the horror stories about it, and she's like, are you serious? Yes, I am dead serious. And like I said, you guys are, uh, really? Okay, getting back to this for a half a second. Yeah. I'm going to flip. Whoa! If I don't get attacked first. Hey, y'all. Now that you guys saw my leg <laughs> and my ass. Or something. Well, Fuck. I'm kind of getting pushed. You gotta look his. So, just just for a quick second, this is still going. It's still on the humidity, and I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I can feel it and I can hear it. It's very quiet. It's not very noisy. It's doing its job. Um, I think it's gonna be a success. I'm Me not too. sure. Um, it's looking like it. That's for sure. At the end of the day, we'll probably do another incubation. Probably, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say. Midsummer. Then again, I can't guarantee that because I'm the crazy psycho chicken lady. 
totally bought a shirt that said that too the other day. So, <laughs> yeah. swear to freaking God, I did. And she found a shirt at Tractor Supply that said, you say crazy chicken lady like, like it's, it's a, a bad, bad thing. thing. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. And, and for all my YouTubers, I don't even know where the hell it's at. Where's my what? chapstick at? I don't know. Oh, it's not in my pocket. I don't know. No, it's my lighter. Um, oh. I... <laughs> Look, um, I don't know where it's at. But anyway, I'm going to show y'all. Uh, I'll show you a whole picture. The, uh... Okay. It's literally a chapstick. And I bought it because... Crazy chicken well, lady. American shit. <laughs> because I'm a crazy chicken lady. Okay. I bought it. Kind of looks like Pipsqueak pissed off on the box. I bought it. Didn't care. I bought it. And it does say, contains no chicken poop. Yes, it does. It does. It does. It does. Contains no poop. But it's all natural. Yep. And, and, on, the, and on the packaging, it says, Grandpa says, if you if you got dry lips, put chicken poop on them so you won't lick them. <laughs> swear to God. I swear to God. Look, y'all, I'm not even playing. <laughs> I did not see that. That's yes. Cool. It's... I, I saw that. I had, I died. I died a little inside. But anyway, the incubator now has a fan. So yep. my chicks won't be drowned rats or look like drowned rats when they hatch. Well, hopefully not for too long at least. Yeah, hopefully they'll dry some a little faster because you're not supposed to open up the incubator after day 18 to for anything. And I'm the bad person. I opened it and took my chicks out because... Well, life, okay, life. The crazy yeah, they weren't they weren't drying off all that good. So with the still air, so I mean they were concentrating a lot around the heat, but they weren't really getting dry until we actually pulled them out and put them over in the brooder. So not to mention when they're wet like that, your humidity goes through the roof. And yeah. with our first batch, our humidity was eighty percent. We didn't think that there was a problem with that until they all decided that they were going to drown in their own moisture so and they got into it a long way anyway long story short we learned our lesson the hard way so keep your humidity under 70 we've had really good success at 60 62 percent i don't mm -hmm. let it go over that because once they hatch jumps pull them out it drops back down in your 60 62 whatever but that works well for us it just does not mean it's going to work well for you it just depends on your area where you live how much humidity you've got going on the, the whole nine it's it's a science project i swear yeah. so in the meantime, just keeping you guys updated. So, alrighty. In well, the meantime. Uh oh, yeah, we got a plug here. In the meantime. Wifey got uh, crafty with it. Okay, I'm a crazy chicken lady. And apparently now, a crazy crafty chicken lady. Because, well, why not? I mean, shit. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, I made myself a cup, y'all. Okay, life is better with chickens and coffee it is there's chickens and coffee all the way around it and yes it's, she made that but for the record i self-identify okay i'm not saying i'm not saying the rest of it because i want it kicked off youtube but i self-identify oh yeah yeah and of course mine's over here the one i like to use so much and uh i think this uh pretty much says it all And to follow with that one, 2A, two, two asses. I'm just <laughs> kidding. That's not what it means. <laughs> Sounded good. Oh. And this one's kind of cliche, fantasy, like everywhere, but I just yeah, had to. It's, it's fun, you know? I had to, because who doesn't? Who doesn't? Right? Who doesn't? So, we are going to possibly be getting shit figured out so y'all can start ordering stuff yep um included mm -hmm. probably um our lovely shirts yep. but, you know my rpg shirt yep that's way way off but yeah. whatever yeah but, live and learn you know you know prepare like it's hurricane season yep every day oh yeah because you're bored it is and we might actually do those to where they have the uh this logo here on the back, like I've got on the back, 
And then maybe do live and learn. The, live and learn. That's it. Live and learn. And then maybe do the prepare every day like it's hurricane season on the front. Let us know what you think about that idea. Okay, that was totally not like. Mama. When did you come up with that? I don't even know what you came up with that. Just now. A more. <laughs> no. Some days. Don't let him fool you. He licked windows. Anyway. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, guys. All right, all right, Thanks, dears. like, subscribe, all the good st uh, YouTube stuff, and uh, stay prepared. Yep, stay frosty, stay strapped, stay prepared. RPG out.